Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 20th OAuth tutorial and in this video I'll show you how we can log users out of the application. Alright then, so we're in a position now where we're really nailing down this authentication process and we can now successfully log in using Google and see our profile page. And we've also secured this profile page so that people not logged in don't see it and instead they're redirected to the login page, which is cool, right? So now we've not talked about logging out yet. And at the minute, if we click on this log out button, then we're just seeing this stupid message right here saying we're logging out when in actual fact, we're not, we're not doing anything. All we're doing is sending this text. So I wanna show you how we can log out in this video. But before we dive into the code, I wanna show you what is actually gonna be happening behind the scenes when we do this. So if I just open up the developer tools by clicking F12 and then go to the network tab, I'm gonna to need to refresh this page to see the requests. I'm gonna click on this request right here for the profile page. And if we scroll down to the request headers, we're gonna see this cookie right here. And this cookie has express session and it's equal to this long thing right here, this coded cookie, right? And that there is containing our encrypted user ID. So when we're making a request for this profile page, that cookie is being sent to our application on the server. We're seeing that cookie and we're saying, okay, when we decrypt it, we can see this user ID and we're gonna grab a profile or a user based on the ID and send it back to the view so you can see your profile. You are authenticated. However, if we log out, what we wanna do is rip out our user ID from this cookie. We wanna destroy it because for as long as that user ID exists in that cookie, we are authenticated, right? So we wanna rip that out so that if we then try to access the profile page, we're gonna say, okay, your ID is not in this cookie anymore. Therefore, you're not authenticated. We're gonna redirect you to the login page. That's what we wanna do. Now, I've made this sound more complex than it needs to be. Believe me, it is really, really simple to do. And in fact, we can do it in one line of code. So let's go to our logout handler right here. So at the minute, we're just sending this really daft message saying we're logging out. But instead, we want to actually log out. So to do that, we use the request object. And now, thanks to Passport, we can use the logout function. And voila, there we go. We have logged out of the application. That is all there is to it. I just wanted to explain what was happening behind the scenes when we called this function. So after we've logged out, what do we wanna do? We don't just wanna sit around and show them a blank screen or anything like that. We wanna redirect them maybe to the homepage. So we'll say response.redirect to the home. Oh no, it's not home, it's just forward slash. What am I doing? Okay, so we wanna redirect them to forward slash, which is the homepage. Okay, cool. So let's test this out. If we refresh over here and then click log out, then we're gonna to go to the homepage. And now if we click on this request over here and go down to the request headers, we can still see this express session cookie. It's still got some information stored in it about the session. However, it's much, much shorter. So no longer is our user ID encrypted into this cookie. So it's ripped it out. We're not authenticated anymore and we're logged out. So if we try to access now forward slash profile, then we're gonna get redirected to the login page because when we try to make that request, our application is saying, no, your ID is no longer in this cookie encrypted. Therefore, we're gonna redirect you because you're not logged in. There we go. That's how easy it is to log out of a system. So I wanna show you one more thing, and that is to do with this header up here. First of all, I wanna add in a profile link. And then secondly, I also wanna control the display of these two buttons because think about it, if we're logged in, then we don't wanna see the login button. We don't wanna log in twice, right? We just wanna log in and then we only need to see the logout button. And vice versa, if we're logged out, we don't need to see the logout button. We just wanna see the login button, right? So we're gonna control that view now. And the way we're gonna do this is as follows. We're gonna send the user object to the view every time we get a view, for example, the home view, the profile view, the login view, etc. And if in that view, the user actually exists, then we're only gonna show the logout button because if the user exists, it means they're logged in. If the user doesn't exist in that view, then we're only gonna show the login button, right? So we can do this in EJS templates. We can use a bit of code to check that certain things exist and then show content depending on that condition. 
So let us go to our code. Now I'm going to cross off the routes and we want to open up these views. So let's start off with the home view. Now, before I do anything, I said I just wanted to add in the profile view. So I'm going to copy and paste this from my repo and just paste it down here. So now we have that button as well on our home page. Let's just have a quick look. The profile button. So when we click on that, we go to the profile. Obviously, I'm not logged in, so it's redirecting me. So the next thing we want to do is do a quick check right here. OK, we want to check if the user is actually logged in or not, and then show one of the buttons depending on whether they are or they're not. Now, to do that, we need to actually send the user back to this view right here. So let's go to our route. In fact, it's in the app.js. That's where we have our home route down here. And remember, we can send an object, right? So we can send an object where the user property is going to be the request.user. So we're sending that back now to the view. So we can use it and we can check whether that user object actually has something in it. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste again a little bit of code from my repository. I'm going to delete these two first and then paste this in and explain it. So we're opening up some EJS code right here using the angle bracket and then the percentage sign. And we don't need the equal sign right here because we're not directly outputting any data. We're just doing a check. Then we're saying if this user exists. So remember, we're sending this user object right now. If this request.user doesn't exist, then it's going to be null. So when we check for it right here, it's going to be null here. So it's going to fail. But if the user does exist, then what we're going to do is show the logout button because if the user exists, they're logged in and we only want to show the logout button, right? Else, if this is not true, if it's null, for example, we want to show the login button. Right. So that's what we're doing right here. Then we're closing off the whole check at the bottom. So notice we have to open up the code and close it off for each line before we output the HTML. OK, so that's a really simple way of conditionally showing things. So let's just check this out on the home page. I'm going to refresh over here. And now because I'm not logged in, we only see the login button. So if I click login and log in, then we go to the home page. Now we only see the logout button because I'm logged in now. OK, so we want to extend this not just on the home page, but to every other view as well. So I'm going to go to the login page and paste that in here. Save it. And I'm going to go to the profile page and I'm going to paste this in right here as well. So let's save that and check it out on the browser. So I'm on the home page and I can see that I'm logged in. If I go to the profile page, I can still see I'm logged in because I can see my profile. If I log out, then now I can just see the login page, right? And if I go to profile, doesn't let me. And that's because we've not actually sent that user right to the login page. So we need to go back to our authentication routes and where we go to the login page. We need to remember, send the user along. So we say user is request dot user makes sense because currently we're not sending that, but we're still in the login view trying to check if that user exists, but we're not sending anything down. So let's save this now and let's go back and try this again. Remember, if I go to profile, then it redirects me now to login and we only see that login button. If I do log in, then we only see the logout button again. So this is how we can conditionally control what we show in our application dependent on our login status.